LA Knight does it. He beats all the competitors and wins money in the bank. His star is on the rise, but he has one hell of a windy road ahead to get to the very top. Starting with sending a message to one of the biggest stars on the roster right now. But Roman Reigns isn't having it. He immediately sends Solo after Knight to stop him from cashing in. Solo looks for a Samoan spike, but Knight breaks free. And in the ring though, it's Jimmy Uso. He drops Roman Reigns with a super kick. All as his brother Jay watches on from a distance. Reigns is furious. He screams at Solo to get Jimmy now, but he hesitates. And Knight is able to slip away through the crowd and he says, I think this is going to be a hell of a fun little game. And whose game is it? It's LA Knight's game. Yeah! But the fun doesn't stop there for Knight, because Reigns isn't the only champion in town. Ah, we've heard this song a million times, but you know what song we haven't heard enough of? My song. And everyone is going to be singing it when I cash this little puppy in. But everyone wants to know where, everyone wants to know when, and everyone wants to know who. Well, how about here? How about right now? How about you? Nah, not tonight. But like I said to Roman, this is going to be one hell of a fun little game. And whose game is it? It's a shut up night. You aren't even on my level. You don't have what it takes. <laughs> not on your level. Son, I am the level. And you're going to find out one way or another. Head on a swivel, architect. Yeah! And LA Knight shows back up on SmackDown and he's asked what he's planning to do with the Money in the Bank briefcase and he says, Every great poker player has a good poker face. And do you see any tells on LA Knight's face? No, but I will tell you something for free. You'll know what I want you to know. But then Austin Theory comes into the picture and he says, Well, 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 if it isn't Mr. Money in the Bank, isn't that cute? Well, I've been Mr. Money in the Bank too. And now look at me. I'm a huge success. But don't get any ideas about coming after my championship. <laughs> oh, don't worry, I have no intentions of Austin theorying this, but if I wanted to, I would, and I sure as hell could. Oh, is that right? Well, why don't you prove how tough you are tonight, huh? Oh, I will. I accept your little challenge, and I'm gonna embarrass you just like you did to yourself when you cashed in on an open challenge and lost. That's not an insult, it's just a fact of life. The match is on, but it barely even gets started before it gets blown apart by Solo Sokoa, who Reigns has sent after Knight to get rid of the threat. Sokoa drops him with a Samoan spike, and we see the Tribal Chief come out and he says, Take this as a message, Knight. Stay out of my business. But Jimmy then comes across, and he's about to superkick Roman, but Jay runs out and stops him. And now Solo marches down, but Roman tells him to stop, and then he looks at Jay and says, you're going to make your choice right now. Jay super kicks Roman. He sides with Jimmy. And Jimmy yells at Solo and says, Solo, I forgive you. Just come home like Jay just did. But Solo doesn't make a decision. He walks off. And Roman now has a lot on his plate. He's got family issues, and now the dark cloud hanging above him in the form of LA Knight. But that cloud isn't just reserved for Roman Reigns. Rawlins is at ringside the next week on Raw, and he's watching Drew McIntyre, who is his next opponent for his championship at SummerSlam. But he isn't alone at ringside for long. Rawlins notices that he's there, and he immediately goes after him in the crowd, and they fight all the way through the sea of humanity and back out the other side. And the brawl even takes them into the ring. But McIntyre does not take kindly to people treading on his territory. Drew looks for a Claymore on Knight, but Knight moves and he hits Rawlins instead. Knight skips out unscathed and the match is thrown out. But when Rawlins eventually comes to, he's furious. Knight has really thrown a spanner in the works on both shows. Rawlins will need to try and deal with two problems, much like Roman Reigns that he has to worry about the first issue, which is a big match at SummerSlam against the Scottish Psychopath. And this is a war. They beat the hell out of each other. McIntyre takes it all the way up to Rawlins. He's returned with fire in his heart and his usual physicality. 
and they beat each other so badly that we see a massive double down. Neither man has anything left. This is it. Knight is gonna do it. He comes down, he gets to ringside, but he hesitates because McIntyre has gotten back to his feet and he warns LA Knight off. But this gives Rollins a chance. He clocks McIntyre with the title while the referee has their back turned, looking at the Money in the Bank winner. And Rollins takes the chance. He hits the stomp and he ekes out the win. But McIntyre isn't laying down that easily. He rushes the ring right after and smashes Rollins with a claymore. And he leaves the ring. But he also leaves an opening. McIntyre isn't going to let LA Knight get away with it. He storms off, having been narrowly defeated. And while his night is over, LA Knight's isn't. He's seen later the same night watching the main event. And it's main event, Jey Uso versus Roman Reigns. The bloodline implosion is real, and it erupts into a ball of flames. The referee is down, and Reigns and Jey Uso are face to face. Jay is backed by Jimmy, Roman backed by Solo, and it's the real decision time. It's all come down to this. But we cut backstage, and it's Rollins and Knight brawling again. They fight all the way from backstage, out onto the ramp, and down towards the ring. But with the distraction, Roman Reigns takes the chance. He takes out both Jimmy and Jay with Superman punches. Rollins throws Knight into the ring. Reigns looks for a spear on Knight, but he hits Solo instead. Reigns is furious. He tries to hit Knight again, but he moves. And this time, he nails Rollins. It's unbelievable. Knight gets out of dodge. This territory is far too dangerous. But now Jey Uso is back, and he comes in, looks for a super kick on Roman, but he evades. Roman then nails him with a Superman punch and follows that up with a spear and Reigns hangs on to win it. Through all the madness, the Tribal Chief rises again. But now not only is LA Knight still looming, Solo makes his choice. Solo lays out Roman. The bloodline has fully imploded. Solo leaves the Tribal Chief laying and walks off. But LA Knight doesn't. The last man by Roman's side. The wise man. But this isn't wise. He gets dropped by LA Knight. The wise man takes a bullet for his tribal chief, who rolls out of the ring and gets away. At least for now. It leaves the crowd and the entire WWE Universe wondering just who LA Knight will finally choose. And to answer that question, we need to get into the mind of the megastar, which Byron Saxton attempts to do the next night on Raw when LA Knight shows up again. Let me talk to you. People all want to know, who will LA Knight pick? Seth Rollins, the architect, probably outside of me, the best wrestler on planet Earth, and the man with the greatest cash-in of all time. Or will it be Roman Reigns, the longest reigning champion of the modern era, the tribal chief, the man who's been abandoned on the island of relevancy? Well, you'll have to wait and find out because I have a plan. And like I said before, every great poker player has a great poker face, and I ain't telling. But this plan involves me working smarter, not harder. It involves the megastar having the ultimate choice at the ultimate time, and that is just a fact of life. Rollins has lost it. The pressure of night is getting to him, and Rollins lays him out backstage and says, I'm not only going to stop you from cashing in on me, I'm going to stop you from cashing in at all. You won't make your name off me or anyone. Your little star is going to burn out. You can't beat me. You can't beat him. My cash in is the greatest of all time. And you're not on that level, Knight. I'm gonna follow you everywhere you go. The hunter has become the hunted. 
but it doesn't hold Knight back. He shows up on SmackDown, and as soon as he arrives, he's asked about the Rollins threat, and he says, Listen, the only threat in this place is L.A. Knight. Seth wants to turn the tables, but he doesn't even have a seat at the table. On the head of the table. Oh, and speaking of head of the table, what the hell's going on here? It's on in the ring. It's the culmination of years of tension. Jay and Jimmy have been taken out earlier, so it's left to their younger brother to get it done. And Reigns is looking for a spear, but Solo nails him with a Samoan spike. Just like that, Reigns is out. The camera cuts backstage to where LA Knight was. Knight again! It's finally time! He storms to the ring, but then as he's walking down from the side, it's Seth Rollins! He nails him with a pedigree on the outside, but as Rollins spins around, he gets speared by Roman Reigns! And Reigns says, you think I need you to handle my business? I never needed you. I was always your shield. Stay out of it. Roman Reigns is furious. The bloodline has imploded. LA Knight has been a thorn in his side and now Rollins is on his turf. Well, two can play at that game because Reigns gets on the front foot and he heads to Raw. And as Reigns arrives at the building, he's immediately confronted by LA Knight, who coaxes him out from a distance, trying to get him to come out to the arena. But Reigns isn't silly. He knows it's a trap and he doesn't follow. But then, from out of nowhere, comes Seth Rollins. He wants to get a receipt on Reigns for the spear. They both start brawling all the way through backstage and out into the arena. And Rollins manages to get on top in the ring as well. He manages to hit a stomp on Reigns to get his own back. And Rollins says, You are my shield? Well, you're gonna die on that shield, Roman. Now you've put your nose in my business, I'm gonna make your life a living hell as well. And little do they notice, LA Knight is on the outside of the ring watching his plan unfold. He's got both champions at war. He's got them right where he wants them. And right where he wants them is on the final SmackDown before Survivor Series, where Triple H makes a groundbreaking announcement. It's going to be Seth Rollins versus Roman Reigns in a non-title match, but also a no disqualification match. Because it's about more than championships. This is about a deep history of brotherhood and deception. A match to determine who will go out on their shield. But there is quite literally a cloud hanging over them, all the way up in a private box, holding all the cards. It's almost time for LA Night Star to rise above everyone else. Rollins and Reigns, Survivor Series. Who will survive? The history is rich, the battle is fierce, and the cloud that hangs over it is dark. It's everything everyone hoped. It's an absolute banger. And it all comes down to one final flurry of chaos, which is fitting given the last few months. And Seth Rollins has Roman Reigns in trouble. And he wants to land the stomp that ends it all. Rollins wants to send the tribal chief out on his shield. It's Heyman, the one man left by Roman Reigns' side. But Roman Reigns doesn't like him getting involved. He screams at Paul Heyman and he says, this wasn't the plan. We follow my plan. Unbelievable! One of the last people on the island of relevancy has just decided to set sail. And Rawlins sees his chance. He hits a stomp. And then another. Now he wants to land one final nail in the coffin. Revenge is a dish best served with a side of Claymore. Drew McIntyre, the man Seth cheated to beat at SummerSlam, has knocked him out cold and found revenge. McIntyre leaves, both men are down, and it's time for the hand to be revealed. LA Knight is here, 
and just like he said, he had a plan, and it leads to the Megastar having the ultimate choice at the ultimate time. But who does he choose? Knight does it! Knight is the World Heavyweight Champion! He executed his plan to turn both champions against each other to perfection. He reveals his hand, and it's all aces. The Megastar is truly born, and that is just a fact of life. And if you enjoyed this video, you can't miss this one next.